The solar system is believed to hold a lot of secrets, including planets surrounding it and our home galaxy, the Milky Way. Scientists and astronomers have been on the quest to unveil many of these secrets. Their quest has led us to discover fascinating things about our universe, its components, and how significant these components are. It has taken years and decades for our astronomers to keep researching the peculiarities and probably other life forms in our solar system. So far, records show that we have only touched a tiny part of the whole universe. However, scientists have kept pushing for more explorations in our solar system, and a recent discovery has brought forth a theory that a couple of advanced civilizations that were discovered are doing something to the black holes in our universe. What could this advanced civilization be? How are they tampering with the black holes? What equipment does this advanced civilization use to tamper with the black holes? Join us as we explore the details of what this advanced civilization is doing to the black holes in space. With space being so vast, we as humans cannot help but wonder about the existence of other civilizations. An assumption commonly discussed by the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, NASA, which is yet to be confirmed, suggests the existence of extraterrestrials. However, records have shown that they in fact have been looking around for any form of extraterrestrial life outside our planet for decades now. Even reports of UFO sightings have been rampant, with more assumptions about Area 51 and the mystery surrounding the government's involvement with all the events happening there and how it is kept secret from the public. These reasons motivate scientists and astronomers to keep exploring and observing the galaxy to discover any phenomenon in our home galaxy, the Milky Way, and beyond in other galaxies. With the hope of finding alien life in space, they proposed a possibility that the discovered civilization could be more developed technologically and societally with improved minds that are higher than ours. Among these assumptions is where the Dyson Sphere came in. But what is a Dyson Sphere? A Dyson Sphere is a theoretical mega-engineering project that circles a star, with platforms moving around it in tight formations. This innovation is regarded as the apex solution for the process of energy production and living in space, making a space for its creators to live at the surface area and also to capture every form of solar radiation coming out from their central star. But why would anyone want to create such a strange equipment? A British-American theoretical physicist named Freeman Dyson was the first to speculate about these presumed structures in 1960. He assumed that an alien species which could be intelligent might have thought about landing on some moons and planets in their local stellar area and settling in them. When they inhabit and their population increases in the designated area, their energy consumption would increase alongside, making these alien civilizations require more energy. Moving further in his speculations about this phenomenon, he assumed that if the population of this strange society grows at a percentage of 1% every year, Dyson's calculations propose that the alien's area would increase significantly. At the same time, the requirements to use energy would also increase by over a billion times more than the previous population in an estimated 3,000 years. And if their solar system should contain a Jupiter-sized body, the engineers of the advanced civilization might try to figure out a way to take the planet apart and spread its mass in a spherical shell. If these advanced civilizations are able to build structures at twice the Earth-Sun distance, the material would be sufficient to produce a vast number of orbiting platforms that are 6 to 10 feet and 2 to 3 meters thick, giving rooms for aliens to live comfortably on their star-facing surface. A shell of this thickness could be made comfortably habitable and could contain all the machinery required for exploiting the solar radiation falling onto it from the inside, Dyson wrote in his books. But after the solar energy is explored and absorbed, the structure would have to emit radiated power all over again, otherwise it would cause it to build up and eventually melt, according to what Dyson said. In other words, from the eyes of a distant observer, the light of a star wrapped in a Dyson sphere might appear dim or even completely dark. But this factor depends on the level of density of the platform circling it, while it glows very bright in infrared wavelengths that cannot be seen with pure naked eyes. But even at this, do Dyson spheres exist in our world today? Due to their infrared radiation, Dyson spheres are regarded as a form of techno-signature. As said in a NASA report, a techno-signature is a sign of activity that distant astronomers use to determine the existence of intelligent beings in the universe. A couple of these Earth-based researchers have scanned infrared maps of the night sky, hoping to spot Dyson spheres 
but nobody has noticed anything yet. In 2015, an astronomer, Tabitha Boyajana, Yale University, reported a strange occurrence of a light dim coming from a star named KIC 8462852. This mysterious happening was something that astronomers had not seen before, therefore making researchers and scholars come up with assumptions that the weird light dips could have possibly come from a half-built Dyson sphere. And this thought brought about rumors going around in the media. Teams were formed and campaigns were conducted to see if they could detect any sign of technological activity happening around the star, but nothing came out of it. Dyson spheres have also been a center of attention in the science fiction space, and a good example is Star Maker, written by Olaf Stapledon in 1937, yet yeah, it's been that long. The book described how the systems in one particular galaxy were surrounded by a gauze of light traps which focused the solar energy for intelligent use so that the whole galaxy was dimmed. This is a description that Dyson said influenced his thinking. Writer Larry Niven also described something related in his novel Ringworld. Larry told of a ring-shaped artificial structure that encompasses a star in his book. A 1992 episode of Star Trek The Next Generation talks about a star surrounded by a rigid shell. Perhaps these spectacular structures exist beyond the human imagination and still stand to be noticed. In his assumptions, Dyson was not proposing that all the technological societies would validate the outlandish project, although some might have, he thought, and it would be nice to have human astronomers search for these immense examples of intelligent minds. Now, talking about black holes, we know them to be just massive objects that swallow everything that comes their way. But did you know that they're also one of the universe's most significant and stable energy sources. This is part of why they can be precious to any civilization that requires tremendous power, such as the Type II Kardashev civilization. But to be able to gather all the power in the black hole, the society would have to orbit the entire black hole with something that would get the immense energy emitting from the black hole. And in case that happens, a Dyson Sphere is the perfect machinery used to achieve this feat. The Dyson Sphere would be the tool used to capture all the energy coming from the object's center. But if the Dyson Sphere can take all of the power from the black hole, the sphere itself would suffer heat loss. This heat loss would make the Dyson Sphere visible to us, according to new research conducted by researchers that headed an international team at the National Tsinghua University in Taiwan. As said earlier, no structure related to the Dyson Sphere has been discovered. However, the paper proves that it's still possible to do so, even though no clear light will make it past the sphere's surface. Coupled with the black hole's reputation for being light drops rather than light sources. For us to understand how such a system would be detected, it would be nice to have a better understanding of what the system would be built to do. The authors studied six different energy sources that the Dyson Sphere, if made, could absorb from a black hole. They are the omnipresent cosmic microwave background radiation, which would wash over the sphere no matter where it was placed, the black hole's Hawking radiation, its accretion disk, its Bondi accretion, its corona, and its relativistic jets. Some of these energy sources have more power capacity than others, as the energy from the black hole's accretion disk leads the pack to capture energy. Other energy forms would need different engineering procedures, such as capturing the kinetic energy of the relativistic jets coming out from the black hole's poles. Also, size is a huge player regarding the amount of energy these black holes emit. The authors mainly focus on stellar mass black holes as a good point compared to other potential energy sources. At that type of size, just the accretion disk would be capable of discharging multiple times the energy output of the main sequence star. However, building a Dyson Sphere around any object that size with current known materials would be impossible. But the kind of civilization that would be intriguing enough to take on such an endearing challenge would need powerful materials that are more technologically advanced than the ones that we have today. Also, there is an option of working with known materials to create a Dyson Swarm or Dyson Bubble. These procedures do not need much material strength. Still, it does lose some side effects that a complete sphere would absorb and adds several layers of complexity when gathering orbital paths and other reasons. Any structure of that sort would have to be outside the accretion disk to gain the full benefit from the energy emitted from the black hole. Even a single sphere around a single stellar mass black hole would be powerful enough to push any civilization that created it into Type II territory, giving it an unimaginable power output with current technology. 
but even an advanced society would likely not be able to transform the laws of physics, because no matter the power level, some of it would be lost to heat one way or another. And heat is another form of light to astronomers infrared to be precise, and according to these researchers, the heat coming from a Dyson sphere around a black hole should be noticeable by the array of telescopes used by astronomers, such as the Sloan Digital Sky Survey and the Wide Field Infrared Survey Explorer to at least a 10 kpc distance. That's one third of the length of the entire Milky Way. Although this is valuable theoretical work, there is still no evidence of any of this structure existing yet. But with all the data gathered from the telescopes, it would be nice to check out this data one more time to see if there would be any form of heat coming from an incredible pace, as it would be worth the time to make a groundbreaking discovery. Let us know what you think in the comments section below.